Hi everyone, Dennis Bullock from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise panel nonsense. Let me repeat that word, nonsense. We get calls a lot from people who ask if we sell noise panels. Okay, let's think through this a little bit. All right, there's no such thing as a noise panel. You can't hang a panel on a wall to stop the transmission of noise. Let's get that straight, please. Noise transmission is vibrational energy. There's a transformation from airborne to vibrational. You have a noise source. Let's take a garbage truck in the morning. Okay? It's going to generate a lot of noise. It's going to transmit through the air. People are familiar with this process. Here's where they fail. When it strikes the surface of your room, building, wall, whatever, it turns into vibration. Vibrational acoustic. That's what we're dealing with. Not airborne acoustics. It's a separate branch of physics. So when you see these two terms together and you understand physics, you know it's nonsense. It's nomenclature that companies use to sell stuff that doesn't work. And people fall for it. I, I, I can't under believe the amount of money that's wasted. Hundreds of thousands, millions maybe, over the course of time. Vibrational acoustics and airborne acoustics are not the same. Same science of physics, but the process of what they do is completely different. Air through transmission of noise through air versus transmission of vibrations through solid materials. Look at the difference. Solid versus air, you couldn't have a larger contrast. You can't use sound absorption principles. And that's where people are confusing this. When they see panel, they're thinking, well, I got airborne energy, I'm gonna hang a panel on the wall. No. That's not going to stop the transmission of the noise through the panel. A lot of people use billing insulation to stop noise in their bills. No, it can't. It's a limp mass material. It can't reduce vibrations. So you got to understand the science and the, uh, behind it. What you're trying to do is manage the vibrational signature in the wall from the noise source. That's why you got to measure always with noise because you got to know the frequency and the amplitude of what you're going to be fighting because the wall has to be able to fight the airborne energy. It has to be rigid enough, dense enough, have a certain layers of materials to it to deal with the frequency and the amplitude of the noise. You must measure noise. If you don't measure noise, you don't know how, think of noise as an army and think of your room as a castle. If you don't know how many people are out here, what kind of weapons they have, what their strength is, how do you know how thick and high to build the wall? You don't. That's what you got to measure first. You got to measure noise. Because everything we use in the wall, every layer of material that we use, our goal is to take a huge signature from noise, garbage truck, and when it gets through the wall, have it come out the other end in a reduced version, like adult to child, so to speak. You want to take a huge airborne wave of energy when it strikes the wall and gets everything moving that when it comes out the other end, because it will, it's got to be smaller. Snake to a worm. Think about it that way. So, airborne energy and noise transmission which is vibrational acoustics, separate parts of physics. So there's no such thing as a noise panel.
Nothing you're going to hang on the wall is going to stop noise. How can it when the whole wall is vibrating? Sound is like water. It will find the weakest link and go around it. Just a little opening in an electrical outlet can be 3 to 5 dB of noise. If the noise source on the other side is prominent. You got to think through this stuff. Because you're going to spend a lot of time and money treating it. And you want it 100% fixed and 100% right. You don't want to have to go through all this time-wasting nonsense. And this is nonsense. Noise panel nonsense. I sure hope it helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.